Here's a quick derivation of the kinetic energy formula. This is not completely general because I'm in a one-dimensional setting, but it gets the point across. So what I'm going to do is I want to compute the work done by this force as it speeds up this block from V1 to V2. So I'm just picking a starting point here and looking at a little increment of motion. So technically that's a vector, displacement vector. And I want to find the work that's done. So I'm going to write down dw, a little work increment. It's given by whatever the force is at this location. I can call the location x. Dotted into dx. And of course they're parallel, so it's just f dx. And then I start to mess around with the differentials. So I'm going to write down, applying Newton's second law, that the force on this mass is equal to ma, but a is a time derivative of v, so dv dt. But I could just put this differential dx over the dt and then pull the dv out, and something useful occurs. And I realize, oh, dx dt is just v. So I have this new expression for the increment of work that's been done, mv dv. That's entirely phrased in terms of one variable, v. So I can go ahead and add up all the work increments. That means integrate. And because it's a v integral, I go from the initial v to the final. And when I integrate this with respect to v, I get a one-half v squared for that part and then an m tacked on. So I end up with a one-half mv squared as we go from v1 to v2, which is just one-half mv2 squared minus one-half mv1 squared, which should be familiar at this point. So what we're going to do is say let's define a quantity called kinetic energy to be one half mv squared. Then really what I have here is the kinetic energy at, at the second moment up here, moment two, and kinetic energy at the first moment. So I end up arriving at what's called the work energy theorem. If I look at the net work done on an object, it relates to the change in the kinetic energy. where the kinetic energy is given by this expression, one-half mv squared.